Meteor FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday. Before Thanksgiving Thursday. Limited liquidity today again. It's been a light liquidity week, as you can see, with some of the moves. This is not bad for break trading. Um, but this isn't, this isn't great uh, for fading. Because when you fade in low liquidity, things move further than you think. Let's take a look at the uh, most important charts of the day today. You could argue that this is one of them. Uh, Euro now. Plopped up here above uh, 119. Here's your trend line. Here's your 10-year trend line, 119.43. We have these two highs at 20. I guess we're here because it's risk on. Equities uh, went up all the way up to 55, 36.55. Now they're back down 36.35. We'll have to see if we have the energy to get up um, to this line today. One standard deviation is at, we're right at 119.40 today. Um, so tricky, going to be tricky up there. Been up to 10 so far today. Now it looks like we're kind of turning lower. Aussie's turned very hard. It's kind of dragging Euro lower. Let's take a look at Aussie. Um, not sure what's going on with Aussie. Why? I guess markets are long. Yesterday we got what we wanted through 40. Obviously 36 was the bingo number up to 64. Back down to 30 just to sort of get out the intraday longs and then all the way back up to 75. Um, now here we are in this sort of neutral zone, 73.40. Not really sure what to do with this now. We just played hit and run yesterday. Um, I don't know. This could go either way. I guess a lot depends on stocks. So if stocks go higher, this probably holds. It's certainly not bearish by any means. If you look at the chart, it's a big, it's a big ass green day. Closed at 60. Um, you could argue there's going to be support in this region, and maybe you only get look, you only get twitchy maybe if it gets below 20. Um, but no dog in this fight for now. Let's go to cable. 134, the figure is interesting. We obviously, um, on the rat fuck day, 133.98 the high. This is 133.95 on September 3rd. 134, the figure is huge, um, as is 88.60 in Euro Sterling. These are two real big technical levels you want to keep an eye on. Um, going forward, Daria not doing much, just kind of stuck here. Dogeed yesterday uh, in the middle of the range. No idea what the hell we're doing up here. Euro yen having a laugh. Popped up yesterday. God knows why. Euro yen's not doing much either. I guess Euro yen gets interesting above 125, but it's not really a cross yen time these days it's a dollar driven time sterling in also not doing dick uh, it can ignore that here's our friend dollars are we're nibbling at 24 uh, last night and we have this tiny tiny position long position um, just because this is now looking incredibly overextended uh, if we do get a close below 20 today uh, we have to cut it but this is more of a longer term position. I just don't, just not buying what they're selling uh, on this. Um, not exactly what I'm famous for doing, fades, but um, we got a little dollar czar uh, in the back pocket here. What else is out there? Kiwi uh, failed up at 70 cents. Um, and I think you can. You can kind of bank on continued failures up there, so you can sell high ones in Kiwi. This this thing looks like it's running out of puff here. I um, didn't see that all the way down to uh, 46 yesterday. We were selling Kiwi while we were long Aussie yesterday, in um, just kind of as like a a 
jobbing position. So we sold some 98s, bought some 90s, sold some 98s, bought some 85s. Um, I don't know why I'm even mentioning that. Who cares? Um, this looks like it wants to turn. I don't believe in Kiwi at 70 cents. So be careful if you're long Kiwi. Dollar CAD not doing too too much we made this uh 129 26 low back in november november 9th election day or the election week um don't think we're going to be re re revisiting that uh but crude is still bid let's look at our friend gold we were fishing down uh 1810 for longs bailed out of that still looks relatively heavy but I can tell you this uh, 03 and a half, 02 and a half, 01 and a half you saw these you know the gold futures contract you saw these big resting bids this is cheap we do like being long gold um, as we talked about after 1850 broke the best play is probably to buy it after it goes back up through 1850 but I do like fishing for longs somewhere down here. I think gold uh, is going to bottom sooner rather than later. One thing to keep in mind, the last time gold uh, got trashed, it went 200 bucks. Um, 200 bucks from 1965, 1765. So when I say the last time it got trashed, this was a trash 2091 all the way to 1870 that's 220 bucks if you want to trash it again 200 bucks is 1765 if you want to just throw a wild hysterical bid uh in down here in front of 1750 makes sense but i do actually my feeling is is this is going to turn today especially if euro um breaks up through that trend line Dollar sales will creep back into the gold market. A lot of people have been penalized. Uh, the comfortable longs have been eviscerated. And now we have like short-term guys uh, fishing for longs but getting stopped out. That was me yesterday. So you're fishing around 1810. You clip it out at 1805. Um, this will keep this sideways and maybe a little bit heavy. Uh, but we do like gold higher. Let's go to Bitcoin. Oh no, let's go to bonds. We're not short. Pissed. 174.10, the high. Um, back towards 173 now. We're going to try and sell high ones again today. Um, and I just get the feeling we're not going to get paid. Um, so, you know. 170, uh, 173.20 to 30, I guess. We'll try and sell a couple. Um, but your real sell point, as we talked about, is this uh, this sort of channel line here. And that's up at 174.15 now, I bet. One seventy four oh two. It's not even really a good one. Let's put that there. Four hours. Anyway, uh, ZB looks like she's heading lower. Um, try and try and get short that shit if you can. If you are short, well done. Um, this comes in 174.08, so high 173s. So we try and sell today if if possible. There are three charts we're focusing on. Obviously, this euro chart is is the, the most important 11-year trend line going to be tricky up at 44 today that's one standard deviation and this is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving um, but through 20 we'll start we'll start the attack today see how that goes obviously euro sterling 8860 and cable 134 the figure liquidity is going to suck today be careful um, that doesn't affect most of you um, you're not swinging around big positions. Oh, let's look at crude. Amazing. Can this go to 50 bucks? Sure. Why not? 
Remember when it was at zero? When we, I think it went to negative uh, 40 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when it was at negative 40? Oh, mercy. Um, yeah, 50 bucks is a, is a, is sort of a target on this move. And this is also a good place to get short first time up there between sort of 49 and 50 bucks. Anyway, um, voila, euro dollar top side trend line we're looking at euro sterling 8860 cable, um, 134. If risk goes left, we buy more dollar rand. Good luck out there, people. I will not be uh, chit-chatting tomorrow morning at the open. It is Thanksgiving. Uh, we are at least half American uh, in this family, so we will be doing the traditional celebrations here and no trading tomorrow, but I'll catch you guys on Friday. Good luck out there. Ciao.